So starting off with my favorite foundations at the moment, this is the Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation as well as the Born This Way Too Faced Foundation. I'm mixing two colors because I self tan and both of these shades just match my skin tone right now. So, and I also love the formula of these two foundations. They're both lightweight on the skin, long wearing, hydrating, and they're just amazing for oily skin. I'm using the Shape Tape Concealer to prime my eyes as well as the RCMA No Color Powder just to set that in place. I'm taking this giant fluffy brush from the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Collection. And I'm going in with the ColourPop Cosmetics Dream Street Palette that Kathleen Lights collaborated with. And I'm just taking this light shade right here called Twinkle and applying that in the crease as my transition shade. Also picking up this shade right here, it's a beautiful terracotta color. I'm using more of a tapered blending brush and I'm applying that in the crease as well, bending, building up the intensity of that from inner corner to outer corner. This next brush is the Morphe R42. It is a very small tapered packing brush and I just use it to pack on the shadows just to really create a good color payoff. I'm starting off on the outer corner and in the inner corner and I'm gonna use this shade because I wanted to create more of like a halo look but this color just kind of dusted off as soon as I applied this shade right here in the crease as you can see. So there was no point in applying that, I don't know, but and the other eye, I just went directly into the crease with this shade and then I applied the lid shade after that. Using this shade right here, it's more of a shimmery, really pretty teal color called Kaleidoscope. I'm using my ring finger first, but I decided to go in with a brush and wet that. It is a MAC 242 with some MAC Fix Plus. It just gives you such pigment and like a nice foil finish. Next, I'm going in with my Milk Cosmetics um, Mascara, and then I'm gonna apply some lashes. These are Lily Lashes in the style Mykonos. Moving on to the rest of my face, I'm gonna apply my concealer. This is from Milani Cosmetics. This is their long wear concealer in the shade Light Beige. This is such an amazing concealer. I've been using it for like a couple of weeks and it really is full coverage but yet it's um it's like hydrating under the skin it doesn't dry or doesn't settle in my fine lines or anything but it really just covers up any imperfections that you have and of course I'm applying that blending that out with a damp beauty blender and then I'm gonna take that same RCMA no color powder and set the under eye area next I'm just going to finish up the lower lashes and waterline I'm applying just like a bright nude color eyeliner brighten up the eyes and then the same thing that I did in the crease I'm doing to the lower lash line applying those dark shades and that terracotta shade next I'm just going to apply my bronzer this is my favorite matte bronzer from Too Faced I'm just using it to bring warmth back to the face not so much contouring so of course I'm gonna go in with my favorite blush at the moment this is a blush bomb from Carity I use these a lot and I'm going in with this shade right here with a blush brush just applying it in the apples and bringing up back into my temples so I'm contouring my nose with that same Chocolate Soleil Matte Bronzer. It's not at all red, so that's why I also use it to do that. Um, applying some mascara on the lower lashes, and then I'll apply some highlight. This is So Hollywood from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I've had it forever, so sorry if it looks so gunky. <laughs> Next, I'm going to finish off the lips with the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte uh, Lipstick, and this is in the shade Trendsetter. I'm going to set my whole face using the Hangover 3-in-1 Setting Spray. So that's it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this colorful makeup look. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.